Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is like the third time that I've started this video, by the way. Like, I had to restart it because I just didn't feel right by giving out names. <sighs> so I'm just going to um, talk about this topic without giving out names because I don't feel like it's my, um, it's not my place to bring on news that that person hasn't even really spoken of yet. So, um... I'm also going to be working, working or shuffling the Work Your Light Oracle. I really love this deck, um, except for a couple things. But anyways, um, let's ramble. Let's just ramble. Let's just talk tarot. Let's ramble. Um, okay, so basically what has been on my mind the last week or so is the fact that um, one of the readers that I love to follow that I have been following for years, about four years, um, decided, I guess... I guess this has been a decision that, that this person has made, um, but it seems like it was so abrupt that this person changed their path. They are following a different spiritual path, which is I'm 100% supportive of people following the path that feels right for them, right? But um, it was mu so much of a trigger for me because the very path that this individual is now following is the same path that I had so much trouble, so much hard times walking away from. It was freaking hard. <laughs> and I think because of the struggle and because of so much brainwash that I had to free my brain of and my heart of, I was so triggered when I found out that this reader is falling into that same path again, or I don't know if she's going back to it or, or what, but it was like, what? And so it hurt. Um, so when I found out that the reader was doing this, I was a little upset. I was upset for a couple of reasons. One, I was upset because of the fact that this was something that triggered me, um, because it was a path that was so hard to walk away from. And now here she is going to that path. And this is a reader that I looked up to. This is a reader that I learned from, that I followed for years. I loved the content that this person would put out. Um, and I was hurt because it was like feeling like this person died, even though they didn't die, they're still around but their spiritual spark was gone. And it was like, you could feel it. I mean, I could feel it, I could feel it, I could sense it. And I was just like, she's dead, she's gone. Like, what happened? And so um, that night, I remember I, I laid down to meditate and I asked God, I was talking to God because <laughs> God was playing a big factor in the fact that she is going to a path of Christianity, um, a path of following a Christian path. I don't know what particular church or what, but it is a path of following God. And when you follow God 100%, like when you're on that path, you are giving up a lot of things that you once maybe enjoyed doing that are now looked at as sinful or evil or wrong um, or not of God. So that is exactly what happened. She um, started to sell all of her decks. She deleted the website. She deleted... Um, a lot of photos that had to do with tarot and I was noticing it and it was like oh, what is going on and so she never really made a full-blown public announcement which it's not she doesn't she's not required to do that she doesn't have to um, but there was so many of us myself included that were like what's going on like what's happening um, it sucks to see someone that you followed that you loved that you maybe was your personal reader that you gave money to to read for you all of a sudden like delete all of their content and completely renounce it and it was like it was very hurtful um but at the same time i was also trying to be open-minded and open heart and to accept the fact that everybody every individual is um allowed to follow their own path and to express themselves spiritually in their own way so it was kind of like I was like torn between that. I was torn between like feeling upset <laughs> but and feeling angry, but also trying to be open hearted and approaching this situation with love, even though it was a little bit offensive too um, on different levels. I know that that's my own shadow work. My own triggers are my own shadow work, but um, I was a bit offended too by it. And I'm going to be honest. 
And so I didn't know who I could reach out to. I was very careful with who I talked to about the situation because um, I didn't want to look like a gossip, but I also was hurting and I needed someone to talk to. So I do have, you know, a couple friends that I do trust, trust. <laughs> one of them is in, is in the tarot community. One of them is not. She's just a friend on my outside that I trust. So those are the two I reached out to. Um, and <clears throat> later on throughout the week, I've had other readers you know, talk to me a little bit and we just, it, it was nice. It was nice to have like that support to talk about this because this is a topic that is, um, was very big when Doreen Virtue renounced her, her tarot path and, and everything. And that was a big mess. It still is a big mess. Um, there was a lot of people who were very hurt by it. Um, and so it felt like another wave of Doreen Virtue. <laughs> and so this one is a little bit like, it's not as, as abrupt, it's not as crazy. Doreen Virtue was huge, had a huge following, and um, a lot of people devoted their time and money to her. But um, this reader that I'm talking about um, is, is still very well known, I feel. Um, very well loved and appreciated and had a lot of followers. And so I feel like a lot of people, as we are now coming into realizing that this person is no longer on the path, it really puts all of us in a position of, where do I fall in this situation, you know? I, do I support her, for one? Do I continue to follow her content? Do I unfollow her? But then I feel broken because I, you know, I loved her, I admired her. Um, some of you were really good friends with her. Some of you um, hung out with her. Maybe you met her. I met her in person once. Um, so it, everyone has a different a different feel on this topic. And um, I don't think it's as widely talked about right now because it's still fresh. Um, and I feel like the once she, if she does choose to address what her change is publicly, um, I, then I think more people will come forward and talk about it. But I had to talk about it because it's been on my heart since I found out. Um, since then, I've, I've been able to just kind of disconnect. <laughs> and I'm not as upset or hurt or confused about it or conflicted because it did, it did trigger me to the point where I started questioning myself, like, is my path wrong? If someone that I truly trusted and really like respected and admired, to see them turn back to God, <laughs> to your Christianity it was like is what I'm doing really wrong and that's I really legit started to think that I felt the doubt creeping back in and do you guys know how hard it is to push down that doubt when you have grown up in a very conservative lifestyle family it's very very hard to turn that off so I, I'm very protective of myself I'm very protective of my path and my spirituality and my cards and everything because of that because it was not easy for me so yes I was triggered by it yes I was hurt by it yes I was offended by it um but at the same time I give her props for doing what she did because she's following her heart because she's following a path that she feels is right for her and good good for her um I guess I'm just being selfish by feeling offended or feeling lonely or feeling sad about it that's me being selfish because everybody has the right to follow their own path. So I don't know where I stand anymore about her, um, her practices. Um, I chose to unfollow her because at the time it was really hard to see the posts about, you know, how God is the one and only way. Um, I see that and I hear it and I, I am told it on a daily basis because of where I live. <laughs> um, I have, I come from a very conservative family and I am a black sheep in a family. So I live it every day. I don't want to see it on my social media, um, coming from somebody that I once admired highly. So I think that's why I'm hurt. Um, so I chose to unfollow her. That was my decision. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I dislike her. It just means that I can't see that content. It triggers me. Um, maybe one day when I'm comfortable with it, I will be able to refollow her again. Um, but our paths are very different now. You know, the path I'm on is not the same as what she's on now. And her beliefs are contradictory to mine. Um, 
she feels what we do is 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 not of God. So I I feel like everybody can make their decision if you choose to follow that or not. Um, and I did what was best for me, and I unfollowed because I didn't want to feel that way anymore every time I saw a post. Um, so it was sad. It was very unfortunate. Um, I, I, I bought one of her decks that she was selling. It was, to me, it was like, I'm going to save it. <laughs> so, and it was also one I really wanted. So I bought it from her. I think I have it right here. It's the Golden Tarot. I have wanted this one forever. Um, so I bought it from her and she sent it to me and it's, it was like that last little piece of her. And I cried, you guys. I cried that night when I found out. I cried. Uh, my husband saw me. I was upset because my husband met her too. Um, and she actually read for my husband. So um, we were sad. I was upset more. <laughs> he just told me, you know, you just be happy for her. And I am happy for her. And if she watches this, I am happy for you. Um, I just, it did hurt. It was like losing somebody very special to you. Um, and so that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> now I bought this deck. I bought the work your light Oracle a couple days after, um, this whole thing happened. And I feel like this deck was very healing from that aspect. Um, I can hear they just got home. So I'm going to have to cut this short. But anyways, I just wanted to put that out there so that you guys can hear what has been going on and um, leave some comments, send me an email, DM me, but let's talk about this. So thanks you guys for listening and I will talk to you soon.